we are going to study today the keys keys and constraints and this is a revision uh, module in which we will discuss the few examples with definitions of different keys so humne jo abhi tak keys ke bare mein study kiya hai usme hum logon ne basic concept samajhne ki koshish ki hai ki hum kis tarike se keys ko understand kar sakte hain unke definitions kya hain aur kis form mein unko hum database ke andar use kar sakte hain डिफरेंट प्रोग्रामिंग पर्पज के लिए कहाँ पे यूज कर सकते हैं कुछ कीज हमारी कंसेप्चुअल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से मैनेज होती हैं कुछ कीज को हम कमांड्स रन करके उनको हम मैनेज करते हैं तो हमने एक लॉन्ग मॉड्यूल्स की फॉर्म में इन कीज को डिस्कस किया था तो आज इस मॉड्यूल में हम लोग थोड़ी सी क्विक रिवीजन्स करेंगे ताकि जो बैकग्राउंड एनालिसिस है जो आपकी अंडरस्टैंडिंग है वो और अच्छे तरीके से आप मैनेज कर सकें so in the revisions of the keys we will discuss today super key candidate keys primary keys surrogated keys foreign keys composite keys and with some additional constraints or in additional constraints mein zahir hai hum log wohi form wale constraints use karenge jo ki humne different tables mein use kiye hain jaise not null default check constraints triggers is also a, a kind of uh, Uh, another way to manage the constraint on the table but uh, normally we will do this one after once you understand about the plsql so we start with the super key and candidate key so super key is basically key that determines the record uniquely or sometimes records can be more than one based on the super key so we have to decide which column is basically a super key and sometimes the column or uh, indicated in the super key can be a null column or value may not be available so super key is basically basic concepts to manage the uniqueness of the record how one record is different from the other records on the other side of the key which is called candidate key the candidate key is used for the searching of fewer uh, records so fewer records mean that on a screen without scrolling we can search around maximum 20 or 25 or 30 records and sometime we can get the unique record as well so within the organization if you consider that the university is basically using uh, searching various records so cnic of the students will be a candidate key and it will show you maybe one record or two records or three records how come if, uh, if we enter cnic there should be one record should come up but there is a chance that the student uh, already has done a bs degree from the same university while he is doing the ms degree so at the same time he uh, one student may have more than one record so isi tarike se jab student do different programs mein hota hai to uske do record aa sakte hain so cnc will give you two records as a bachelor kind of student and a master student and similarly if the student is doing phd from the same university then that particular case search may give you three records as well so roll number is definitely a candidate key is a super key as well so primary keys what is the primary key uh, primary key will give you uh, basically the restrictions about the not null indexed and unique so if these three characteristics goes to the primary key it must be not null means that without blank value must entered over there fixed length ownership frequently not frequently changed descriptive well defined means that uh, it has a informative informations for example the student from the student roll number one can understand this student is from which campus and this student is from which batch or from which the student has been start uh, being a student of the university as well so that's called well defined similarly other numbers can be employee number item number product number uh, avoid primary keys for uh, price quantity rate so try to avoid these thing will be a primary key surrogated key is also a primary key it is a artificial key when we find no way to manage or to introduce any kind of key then we introduce a surrogated key so it is normally called artificial key and it is also meaningless to the users so within the database we use it but for the user it's normally not very meaningful so we normally say serial number or card number with transaction 
will be a surrogated key. Similarly, property ID or file number of the property of some plot or some house is also a uh, surrogated key. So, is mein, is tarah ke kiya jata hai ke sometimes invoice number ko bhi hum surrogated key kehte hain. Agar wo well defined nahi hai, to normally users jo hain ya customer invoice lete hain, lekin invoice ko wo itna seriously us number ko nahi dekhte, balki wo apna balance check karte hain, total number of uh, uh, items ya few of the items search karte hain. Normally they don't care about the invoice number. So we normally try to avoid column with data type date. So date ko jo hai primary key avoid kiya jata hai, kyunki date ke andar time aur date dono shamil hain. Foreign key hamare paas ye kaisi key hai jo ke do ya do se zyada tables ko relationship banati hai. Aur foreign key mein single table bhi istemal hota hai jisko hum recursive relationship kehte hain. So uh, referential integrity constraint is called a foreign key means that a column that refers to a uh, primary key of the same or different table. The reference means that it is a sub subtype or sub set of the main parent key. So normally we use this one as a relationship key. For example, we have a department and employee. So DNO will be considered as a foreign key that refers to DNO in department table. So referential integrity constraint means that the parent table must contain the primary key for the referential. Composite key is basically extended form of the primary key means when we have one more than one columns then we can say it is a composite key. Two columns or three columns comes together to make the a collection of primary keys which is called composite key. We, we have discussed many other examples but for the revision purpose uh, we are just choosing this uh, patient visit and the lab test as well. So the patient visit point of view we can say that patient ID and patient ID visit number both basically both will be considered as composite keys. So which for which visit number which patient is taking the lab test. So every we have definitely we have one table which is called uh, uh, test and in which we say blood test, sugar test or some other test. So every test name will be considered as a, a primary key and which is called test ID. So at the same time uh, visit number uh, and patient ID will be considered as two per composite uh, two, uh, two foreign keys that refers to the primary keys of the patient visit. So additional constraints we have not null domain. Domain means that the length should be fixed. Length should be appropriate so that multi values or non atomic uh, items should not be entered in one cell one telephone number should be entered. Check means we can choose few choices. We restrict it to few choices or we can say that salary greater than zero means user should not enter negative values. Unique means uniqueness constraint. It is not a primary key. It can be null. So simple unique can be a null, but it can be, we can say it is not null. So we can combine unique and not null both on one particular column to manage this one. Default means that if user is not entering any value, so for example, status, it become Y if user is not entering any value. So trigger is basically a programming code that is used for some conditional basis, maybe some kind of loops or some kind of other complicated logic. On that basis, uh, we can put the restrictions. In the additional constraints, we're going to discuss about the constraint that we normally put on the columns. And in normal situations, we normally say that how we can do not null or domain or check on the particular column. So in that particular case, we normally say that uh, uh, not null is based on, uh, for example, if we have a column salary, so we can say not null. Similarly, if you have a domain constraint, so telephone number, normally we can give its length, for example, character 10, so that nobody can enter more than two telephone numbers, so it should be atomic. And similarly, check we can say that salary greater than zero. So in that particular case, check is used for the purpose of the salary. Or similarly, we can say that check is basically used for uh, D and no in. We can say that ten comma twenty comma thirty. And similarly, unique is normally we use this one. Book name is for example in case if it is a unique. So we can write on the unique constraint in front of the. So all these commands are basically related with the create table command and 
normally default value we can say status is uh, yes and similarly we can say that triggers is basically normally used for the programming code if then else and these this portion will be normally we will discuss later on in the PLSQL program.